usually I don't do a video um, but um, I'm constantly bullied and harassed by the professionals in Liverpool who are trying to make out I'm delusional which is not true I have 11 chronic health conditions I still have to be go for tests at the Manchester Hospital for bronchoscopy vocal cord dysfunction uh, an MRI scan on my heart and also nerve conductive tests um, and these nerve conductive tests are there because um, they think that I've got um, a condition to do with the small blood vessels in my body and um, my GP said the other day to me that he's he's really um, basically um, glad that they are taking me seriously at Manchester Hospital because my blood came back positive for ANCA which is A-N-C-A. I will never engage with those professionals in Liverpool from any organisation in Liverpool. I don't want to live here. They're harassing and bullying me. I've complained about it and spoke to Daisy UK yesterday. And because I spoke to Daisy UK yesterday, today I'm now being harassed and bullied by Mercy Care in Liverpool. Um, these professionals don't care about my physical health issues. Um, they don't care that I've been quite unwell recently um, due to because I have um, 11 chronic physical health conditions. I have a rare lung condition called trachea bronchomalage dash excessive dynamic airway collapse syndrome. I have asthma. I have chronic, um, chronic kidney disease. I have fibromyalgia. I have osteoarthritis of the um, spine hands, knees and feet. I have enlarged goiter. I have fibromyalgia. I have sleep apnea. I have enlarged goiter. I have vocal cord dysfunction and high hiatus hernia and chronic kidney disease. These professionals in Liverpool do not care about my physical health. Not once do they care that I've been quite poorly recently due to um, my gastric reflux disease impacting on my um, asthma and also my uh, rare lung condition. I have to go for tests now, which is an MRI scan on my heart. I have nerve conductive tests that I've got to do. And um, I've also got to have a bronchoscopy and uh, an ear, nose and throat uh, look at my vocal cords. These professionals in Liverpool that I have no respect for because they bully the most vulnerable in our society and the fact uh, uh, of the abuse that I'm receiving is disgusting. Um, the police, Merseyside Police and Merseycare and the local authority are trying to make out I'm delusional and crazy when in fact I'm struggling with my physical health and my GP is taking this seriously and so as um, so as the hospital and my GP said that the other day those bullying me know that I don't want to live here I think the Royal Liverpool Bull Green Aintree Hospital are not that great hospitals and I've never had good care from them except I must admit the urology department I've had good care but anything from any other uh, Liverpool hospitals I've had horrible care and I don't want to even attend those hospitals because I know I will never get good care I'd rather go outside of Liverpool and get the care I need that is caring, compassionate, uh, un uh, empathetic, understanding 
and also takes my physical health seriously where Mercy Care did not. And so I will never engage with anything to do, sorry, with the Royal Liverpool. When I asked for a care, a care plan, they just charged me from their services. I will never work with professionals from the Royal Liverpool because they're not good at their jobs. They're not caring, they're not empathetic, they're not compassionate. Where I know that I went to Manchester and I felt safe and I was cared for. Staff were compassionate and kind and caring. I've never received that from Liverpool, from any service, except from my G new GP at Rutherford Medical Centre. The doctors are brilliant. I personally think that, um, that I've had such substandard care in Liverpool that I deserve better care. And those professionals who are discriminative towards me because of my mental health and don't take care of my physical health, uh, basically I feel I'm in danger here of getting um, proper health care. I think their care in Liverpool is substandard and abusive. And I don't want their help from any professionals in Liverpool because their care is abusive and unkind and uncompassionate and not empathetic. Where when I went to Manchester, their care was kind, compassionate, supportive, empathetic, and it was safe. Uh, the Royal Liverpool care is not safe and it's not kind, it's not caring and not compassionate. And the abuse that I'm getting from Merseyside Police and Liverpool City Council towards my health is disgusting. They have no right to interfere in my physical health care or my mental health. I think what they're doing is abusive and it's disgusting. But then I'm not surprised Liverpool City Council are horrible and abusive and abuse their authority over vulnerable people in Liverpool. And I have no respect for them and never will. And I will never engage with them because of the abuse that I'm suffering. And that's all I've got to say. And I'm Mercy Care. I've never been in their service and they're the most abusive organisation that I can think of in Liverpool who hound people who don't need their service. And I feel like I've been hounded like a dog by Mercy Care. That's all I've got to say.